Hello from Gama. I am Lakshman Maheshwari and today we are going to talk about the Nobel laureates from India. Before we begin, let me tell you a little about the Nobel prizes. They are recognized as the most prestigious honor awards and they are bestowed on those who conferred the greatest benefit on mankind. They are an annual award and awarded in the fields of physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature, economics and peace. The story behind the starting of Nobel prizes in itself is very interesting. Alfred Nobel amassed a fortune during his lifetime mainly through his invention of dynamite. In 1888, a French newspaper confused Alfred's brother Ludwig's death as Alfred's death and published an obituary titled The Merchant of Death is Dead. This article greatly disconcerted Nobel and made him apprehensive about how he would be remembered. This inspired him to change his will and he specified that his fortune be used to create a series of prizes which are now known as the Nobel Prizes. Here you can have a look at Alfred Nobel's last will. Coming back to the awards, the Nobel Foundation was founded as a private organization on 29 June 1900. Medals since 1880 are struck in 18 karat green gold plated with a 24 karat gold coating. As of 2017, each prize is worth about 1,110,000 US dollars. All the prizes except the Nobel Peace Prize are awarded at Stockholm, Sweden. Only the Nobel Peace Prize is awarded at Oslo, Norway. A Nobel may not be shared among more than three people and they are not awarded posthumously. Let us now talk about India stressed with Nobel Prizes. Till now, Nobels have been awarded to five Indian citizens and five citizens of Indian origin or residency. Rabindranath Tagore was the first Indian citizen to be awarded with the Nobel Prize and Mother Teresa remains the only woman to get a Nobel from India. The first Indian to receive the Nobel, Rabindranath Tagore, got the Nobel in literature in the year 1913 and it was awarded because of its profoundly sensitive, fresh and beautiful verses by which with consummate skill he had made his poetic thoughts expressed in his own English words as a part of the literature of the West. The second Nobel was received by Sir C. V. Raman for physics in 1930. It was awarded for his work on the scattering of light and for the discovery of the effect named after him which is Raman effect. The next Nobel came to us in 1979 for Mother Teresa and it was a Nobel Peace Prize. Although Mother Teresa was an Albanian Indian but at, at the time of receiving of the award she was an Indian citizen. It was awarded for work undertaken in the struggle to overcome poverty and distress which also constitutes a threat to peace. The next Nobel came in the year 1998 to Amar Tisain for economic studies. It was awarded for his contribution to welfare economics. Sixteen years later, the next Nobel was awarded to Kailash Satyarthi for peace. It was awarded jointly with Malala Yousafzai of Pakistan for their struggle against the suppression of children and young people and for the right of all children to education. Few other names deserve a mention which are people from Indian origin or residency. Venkataraman Ramakrishnan is a US citizen who got a Nobel in Chemistry in the year 2009. Subramanyam Chandrasekhar, US citizen, got a Nobel in Physics in 1983. Hargobind Khurana is a US citizen and received the Nobel in 1968 for Physiology of Medicine. Rudyard Kipling, a British Indian citizen, got the Nobel in Literature in 1907 and Ronald Ross, British Indian citizen, got a Nobel in 1902 for Physiology or Medicine. Having talked about the Nobels that we got, it is also interesting to have a look at the Nobels that we missed. A very notable name is of Sri Aurobindo. He was nominated twice, once for the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1943 and again for the Nobel Prize in Peace in 1950. 
another huge miss for India was Mahatma Gandhi. He was nominated for the Peace Prize thrice in the years 1937-39, in the year 1947 and a few days before he was assassinated in January 1948. In 2006, Secretary of Norwegian Nobel Committee said, The greatest omission in our 106 years history is undoubtedly that Mahatma Gandhi never received the Nobel Peace Prize. Gandhi could do without the Nobel Peace Prize. Whether the Nobel Committee can do without Gandhi is the question. This video was brought to you by Gamma IS Classes. Thank you for watching. I am Lakshman Maheshwari. Please keep watching our videos for more interesting facts and data. Have a good day.